What is happening, everybody? It's Matt Axelson. It's the Real Estate with Axe podcast. We're back. It's episode 13. We're going over four things. We're going to keep it easy. One, inventory. We're going to dive into each metro area. We're going to find out what's going on week over week data, new construction levels, and also by metro area. Let's see what's going on here specifically in San Diego. Third, I've got all sorts of stats for you. So if you're at work, you're with friends, wherever you are, you're going to sound like a genius and people are going to be like, wow, Tiffany really knows her stuff. And you're just going to be like, last thing, Zillow, are they trying to cause problems in the real estate market? Do we have beef Zillow? Let's get into it. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to chat about is inventory. Uh, weekly inventory change went up from 503,000 up to 508,000 units available nationwide. That's currently our peak of inventory for 2023. And what's actually really cool about this is last week we had a dip down and even last year we went down 2000 units um, this same week in comparison to this year, we went up five. So that's a 7,000 unit swing. And we need to really tap into all the positivity relating to inventory changes, especially when they're positive. So let's just lean into that. Let's be happy. Let's enjoy it. And let's take it for what it is. New listings week by week, August 18th, 60,000 new listings for the nation, the following week down to 55,000. And if you've been watching this, it's kind of been this continued trend downward. We then September 1st jumped back up to 60,000 new units that week. Again, this is a great sign. Any positive sort of trend into inventory gains we will take. Uh, so this is a good thing. So it'll be interesting to watch this trend. Typically, this is a cyclical thing where at the end of the summer, beginning of the fall, inventory starts to fall off, new listings begin to trail off. Um, but us getting this little bump is interesting. I like it. So you remember on last episode, we chatted about Warren Buffett and his $814 million investment into single family developments. That is startling to show, startling. That is starting to showcase some trickle down data where we have about 350,000 units currently under construction. Love to see it. Those new construction models though, what's really funny is looking at the new homes sale by price. And so going from 2002, to 2023, we've gone from 81% of all new construction homes being under $300,000 to now we're at 12%. So from 81% down to 12%. And remember, you get all these video charts on YouTube. So if you're listening on Spotify or Apple or wherever, check us out on YouTube, Real Estate with Axe. You'll see all of this data. I always showcase it in the video as I'm chatting. Um, very interesting. Also, mentioned this on last uh, the last episode as well, where I was saying that in July, 35.5% of all new loan originations were for new construction. We're now seeing from Redfin data that nearly one third of all for sale homes are new construction, and that's nationwide. Really interesting stuff. Um, and just leaning into that further, new construction by Metro as a percentage of total sales San Diego's in second to last place. Uh, I don't even know what percentage point this is. It's probably somewhere around 4%. Um, looking, at the, uh, looking at the chart, El Paso's in first at somewhere around 50%. Again, we need new construction. I'm just talking to all of you guys that live in some of these neighborhoods where you refuse to allow more density in the neighborhood and, and no attack on you personally whatsoever, but we're not going to fix this problem until we're allowed to build more units in the city. That's just what it is. And so until we see more people compromising and understanding what needs to be done, you're going to see appreciation continue to skyrocket. You're gonna see home affordability become outrageous. It's already really bad here in San Diego, but it's gonna get even worse. Okay, this next section is actually pretty cool. So these are all just statistics to arm you with some info when you're at work, when you're with the fam, you can just rattle these off and sound like a genius. So I'm excited to hear uh, what you guys think. So um, the stat of the day today is 48% of all realtors in America have not sold a property in 2023. 48% of all realtors have not sold a property in 2023. That is alarming. 
uh, deposit amounts in 2023, the exact same number I'm gonna rattle off to you. So 48% of all home purchasers in 2023 put under 20% on their deposit. So for many of us, we kind of think that uh, home, uh, you know, attaining a home is next to impossible. You think of, you know, oh, I've gotta save all this money, I gotta save this 20%, this 25%. You really don't. You know, I, I see a lot of people that offer somewhere around six to 8% on the majority of their purchases. And that's so that then they have more cash that they're able to utilize in different formats. Um, so just know that 48% all home purchases 2023 deposits below 20%. Something that kind of goes back to inventory, what we were talking about before, but this is the percentage of people with a 5% interest rate on their mortgage or less. And so what do you think that number of people is? I'll just give you a few seconds. 90.7% of all active home loans are under 5%. So that again is part of the reason why we don't have more existing home sales because someone that owns their property that has a 3% interest rate, they're like, why am I gonna go sell this and take on a seven? That makes no sense, right? So. Hence the majority, or not majority, but the large chunk of sales coming from new construction. Zillow, do we have problems? Why are you trying to do this to me? I feel like we have beef. Why are you rolling out a 1% deposit loan product? This is going to be so detrimental to people. Not every market appreciates incredibly quickly. Not every market has continued to uh, sustain demand. Putting people in a 1% deposit that, uh, I mean, this just, this screams subprime mortgages to me. This screams 2008. It's, this is the only thing that I can point to that I think looks like negligence in real estate in the moment. Um, and so if you have any questions on it, feel free to message me. I'm not trying to just like, you know, talk bad about Zillow because I think they're great too, but I think this particular product and, um, and service that they're offering, quote unquote, to their clientele, I just don't think is wise. I don't think it's smart for anyone to take that on and uh, and speak to a few different lenders before you pick your loan product, no matter what you're doing. So that's it for today. Just wanted to make this short, simple, get back recording some pods. I know I missed a couple weeks. We were out of town and um, just made it tough. I didn't have the microphone with me, so I apologize, but we're back. We're gonna be on the weekly cadence. Uh, and if you're listening to this, definitely check it out on YouTube. You'll be able to see all the charts, all the data, all the information I describe. because I know sometimes I'm talking quickly, um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Carry this into the weekend. Enjoy football. It's back. Uh, and if you're still listening now, comment with who your football team is, and I'll be sure to respond and we can talk some smack back and forth. So hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Talk to you soon. Peace.